Well, today, guys, I bring you an unboxing. And uh, before we want to, before we start, I want to also add in that you guys should watch this video in 720p HD, since I really don't film a lot of videos in HD. So this just happens to be a special occasion. And for all of you who haven't seen my new intro, I hope you guys liked it. Maybe a little long, but it's okay. So today we're going to be unboxing a Soundstream TRX 2.550. Um, 550 watts RMS bridged at 4 ohms and about 250 watts RMS a little less at uh, stereo at 2 ohms but my woofers were 4 ohms and blah 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 so I'm gonna unbox it I got it from uh, well it was on Amazon but it was listed as audiosavings.com as you guys can see here and Let's see, let's tear into this thing. I got a great deal on this thing. Like I said, sound stream, awesome. Let's just shut up and get into the video, why not, right? I can't really tell where to open this crap up because of their lovely packing job. Hopefully it's just as lovely as I think it is. Hope this is gonna be an awesome amp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to set it up with this here little interstate battery for lawn and tractor. It's a piece of crap. Um, leaking a little bit of acid, but uh, whatever. Oh, look at this baby right here. Yeah. Sound stream, buddy. Oh, nice. Good weight to this amp. Freaking awesome. Check out this, oh my God, every time. Clocks. This thing is freaking awesome, guys. Um. Tri ground amp protection, manifest uh, power supply, 18 decibel bass boost. So uh, those are just, just some of the features of this thing. Um, it's got a remote uh, amp type deal type uh, bass control. Man, Soundstream makes a really good box to put their crap in. There we go. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Soundstream. The amp. Uh, the uh, instruction manuals and some mounting hardware just in case anybody cares about that and then the real beauty to it all is the Soundstream amp at least it was supposed to come with a remote control whatever the hell that is which is not in the box maybe you have to buy that separate oh well oh yeah let's tear into this thing oh is that a remote control I guess you have to wire it yourself. Yep, there's your remote control. A little bit of uh, hardware. So a nice little sound stream. Remote control module type deal. Oh yeah. Oh, and there's the cable for the thing. It looks pretty much like a phone cable type deal. Which is kind of what they are. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful amp. Oh man, is that not a beautiful amp, guys? Look at how beautiful this thing is. And it's got these side panels here so it covers up all the wires and junk so you don't see it. Oh my gosh, this is such a nice amp. Holy crap. Man, I'm glad I spent, I spent 120 bucks on this amp. And just look at how nice this thing is. Freaking beautiful amp. Tarantula series which is a good, good, uh, good amp. I'm trying to see, it says it was brand new, and I'm hoping it is, but it doesn't say anything about being refurbished on the amp itself. It's got a nice heat sink back here. Keep the amp cool. Nice uh, hardened plastic cover that's also a fingerprint magnet. But oh my goodness, what a beautiful amp. This thing is great, guys. This thing's gonna sound awesome and what this amp will be powering is a 12 watt or 12 inch Kenwood in a ported box here and we're gonna try to hook it up with what we've got going on here um, I'm gonna hook up a battery charger to this battery here got my connections and shit and this thing is gonna be bitching awesome holy crap oh my god what an amp pretty heavy too I always like to I always know I buy quality stuff when it's 
real heavy, so I always try to get the heaviest item. Um, but for the deal, this was better than the Kenwood. I get 200 extra watts maximum out of this thing than the Kenwood does, and the Kenwood wanted about 25 more dollars, so, you know, and uh, Soundstream, uh, EXO uses it. I'm not sure about his amps, but he uses the woofers, and uh, they're pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, man, this thing is awesome. It'll power that Kenwood ten times over. So, uh, like I said, stereo, just in case, bridgeable, and it'll be bridged. And, uh, yeah, guys, so as I put, when I put this in my mom's car and test this thing out, frick, it'll be awesome. And when I say mom's car, it'll soon be my car, so, you know, whatever, right? But, uh, god damn, it's gonna, I don't even know if it'll fit on top of this box. My whole idea was just to be able to fit this on top of here. Oh, she is just a barely fitting. Woo! Damn. Don't fit that way. Although I might keep it this way just because I want the wires to come out to the side. But god damn, guys. I said that enough. So uh, I'm going to try to set this thing up and uh, see if we can get it to work. And then if I can, then we'll continue the video after that. So just in case um, you guys don't see the next part, if I can't get it to work, then... Uh, Thanks for watching, guys, and please rate, subscribe, and comment, and I hope you guys watched in HD. All right, well, we've got a light, and uh, I guess it's time to try out the uh, sound stream here. It's bridged. Um, don't know how this is going to work. Um, all I know is this uh, basically got the light going on. Tell me I got power. It doesn't say that I'm protected, so I guess it's not grounded right. I have it kind of grounded to the battery here, which I don't know if it's good or not. Um, hasn't blown up yet. Oh, sorry for the bad camera, guys. Alright, so we got the battery there. We got the charger on there. The charger's going whack. And then I got this doodad right here. This is supplying the remote to turn on the amp. So, if I was to unplug it, it would probably turn off the amp. Or not. Amp is still on. Oh. Amp is off. Amp is back on now. Just takes a little bit for the capacitors to turn off or to discharge. So, um, I, I, this is the first test of it actually. I've got it set on low pass and we've got the iPod here. Old 30 gig iPod here. How awesome is that? Awesome old iPod. What everybody needs. Alright, so let me turn this thing on. Got our remote set to minimum. Soundstream remote. Look how beautiful you look. Yeah, baby. Alright, we're on a... Oh, shit! This battery doesn't provide enough power for it. Oh shit. You can see the freaking, if you can see that guys, the thing is freaking jumping like a bitch. Poor amp. She has no power. Oh shit, the freaking battery's dead. Oh damn. Look at that battery, guys. The thing is dead. When it turns green, that means it's charged. But as you guys can see, every time it hits base, let me let it just charge for a minute. Alright, so you guys can see it's charged now, the little green light's on freaking thing, I mean, this thing has no, this battery has no power to power this amp. Freaking 
been shaking though. Sounds like crap. I'm still gonna have to adjust the uh, settings on here and uh, just see what it what else can go on. And uh, I'm probably gonna let me just throw this battery into start mode to give it freaking 55 amps. And oh, the amp is still dying. Adjust the stamp real quick. My battery's boiling. Look at the frickin' Check out the needle. I gotta find a song because my like frickin' battery is boiling. Like you can hear everything in there. That's not good, right? Port noise up the ass. here sub freaking gay ass battery All right, well, you guys have just witnessed my redneck ghetto-ness, and, uh, yeah, I still have to improve on it, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's pretty legit and uh, pretty awesome, so looking forward to putting it into uh, the car. Hopefully, uh won't have any power issues in there. I'm going to be putting a cap on there, a two-ferret cap. Um, 
so we're not dimming the headlights and stuff. And, uh, yeah, guys, so, uh, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? So, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.